Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to manage your time during the FE exam. Now, if you guys like this video, please give us a big thumbs up so that we create more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and make sure that you guys hit the bell so you get notified each time we post new videos. Now, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about here is a couple things that you guys should do before the FE exam that's going to help you manage your time properly for the exam. So the first thing is studying, learning the material, making sure that you guys know the material that's going to be on your FE exam. And I also recommend that you guys go through the three phases that we talked about before. So I already posted a video on this. If you haven't watched it yet, I will leave the link above there. But as we discussed, once you go through the three phases, you really learn the concepts, you learn the material, which helps you solve the problems faster, which helps you prepare better for your FE exam. So it's very important that you guys go through the three phases and also try to attempt the problems, attempt as many problems as you can and just practice, practice. And that's how you start solving the problems faster. Now, another thing I recommend that you guys do is take a lot of practice exams. So taking a practice exam is going to help you get familiar with the exam environment. It's going to also help you see where you are at with time management and if you need to work on it. And then also you're going to see weaknesses. You're going to learn from your mistakes. You're going to close any gaps. So if there's any concept that you missed while studying, you might get it during the practice exam. So it's very important that you guys take practice exams. And the last thing is confidence. I really recommend that you guys work on your confidence because that's going to really help you not doubt yourself and just power through the exam and just confidently answer the questions. Now, if you guys want a video on how to be confident during the FE exam, let me know in the comments below. Now, let's talk about during the FE exam. So when you guys start your FE exam, the first thing I recommend that you guys do is go through the easy questions first. So a lot of my students who previously could not finish their exam, when they started applying this method, they would finish the exam, but then also pass it, right? And they passed the FE exam because they prepared really well and they went through the three phases that we talked about, but they were able to finish the exam because of the method that I'm about to share with you guys. So the first thing you guys gotta do is just go over the, the easy questions first. If you come across a question that you know it's gonna be long or you have no idea what the question is about, you gotta just flag it right away and just move on because if you waste any more time on it, you're gonna lose those easy questions that you already know. So spend the first couple minutes on doing the easy questions first, the questions that you know for sure, the questions that you have no idea about, flag them. And the questions that are long, but you have an idea about them, also flag them and just come back to them later. Also in your booklet, so when you go to the exam, they give you a booklet, you can write down the questions that you might know, so that way you, you can differentiate between the ones that you might know versus the ones that you have no idea about, okay? So then, once you're done with the easy questions, then you're gonna go back to the questions that you might know. They're long, but you might know them. So tackle those first, and then tackle the hard questions. And then another thing I would like to add is that sometimes what happens is that we might start solving an easy question and we might not be getting the answer that are, that are in the multiple choice or we might just get stuck and then we get frustrated and we start spiraling and we're like, this is an easy question. How am I not getting this easy question? How am I supposed to get the hard questions? You got to realize that it's just one question and you got to just let it go and just move on, flag it, move on. Even you can even put a letter, just put a letter, flag it and just move on and come back to it later. Maybe when you're more calm, you'll be able to tackle it, but you you have to stop yourself from spiraling because if you spiral, then you're not gonna do well for the rest of the exam. And you gotta remember, it's just one question. Even even if you do, let's, let's say you miss an easy question, whatever, I'm sure we all have missed one easy question. You will have a chance to get to another answer right, right? Either hard or easy, it doesn't matter. So don't get, cut up on those situations and try not to spiral, try not to get into that negative cycle and just try to stay positive and stay calm 
throughout your exam because it's really going to help you with your performance. So that's it guys for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys share it with your friends who might find it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.